Darfur Arabic, Darfur Darfur, English, Realm of the Fur, is a region in western Sudan. It was named Dardaju Arabic, Dar Dej while ruled by the Daju, who migrated from Muroi c. 350 AD. It was then renamed Dartunjur Arabic, Dar Tianjir when the Tunjur ruled the area. Dar is an Arabic word meaning home of. Darfur was an independent sultanate for several hundred years, incorporated into Sudan by Anglo-Egyptian forces in 1916. The region is divided into five federal states, Central Darfur, East Darfur, North Darfur, South Darfur and West Darfur. Because of the war in Darfur between Sudanese government forces and the indigenous population, the region has been in a state of humanitarian emergency since 2003. The first historical mention of the word fur occurs in 1664 in the account by J. M. Vanslip, a traveller, of a visit to Egypt Peterman, 1862-3. Mythilungan, or Gansingsban II. Fur apparently, like Sudan, means blacks, and was the name given by the early light-colored Berber sultans of Darfur to the original inhabitants of the country such as the Binga, Banda etc., who agreed to become Muslim and submit to the sultan's rule, the alternative being to be attacked and either killed or enslaved. As the historic dynasty's physical appearance became more Africanized, from intermarriage with black wives and concubines, the appearance of the sultans darkened correspondingly and they became known by the appellation of their black subjects, fur. Geography <inaudible> 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 Darfur covers an area of 493,180 square kilometers, 190,420 square miles, approximately the size of mainland Spain. It is largely an arid plateau with the Mara Mountains, Jebel Mara, a range of volcanic peaks rising up to 3,042 meters, 9,980 feet of topographic prominence in the center of the region. The region's main towns are Al Fashir and Niala. There are four main features of its physical geography. The whole eastern half of Darfur is covered with plains and low hills of sandy soils, known as gauze, and sandstone hills. In many places the gauze is waterless and can only be inhabited where there are water reservoirs or deep boreholes. While dry, gauze may also support rich pasture and arable land. To the north the gauze is overtaken by the desert sands of the Sahara. A second feature are the wadis, which range from seasonal watercourses that flood only occasionally during the wet season to large wadis that flood for most of the rains and flow from western Darfur hundreds of kilometers west to Lake Chad. Many wadis have pans of alluvium with rich heavy soil that are also difficult to cultivate. Western Darfur is dominated by the third feature, basement rock, sometimes covered with a thin layer of sandy soil. Basement rock is too infertile to be farmed, but provides sporadic forest cover that can be grazed by animals. The fourth and final feature are the Mara Mountains and Daju Hills, volcanic plugs created by a massif, that rise up to a peak at Dariba Crater where there is a small area of temperate climate, high rainfall and permanent springs of water. Remote sensing has detected the imprint of a vast underground lake under Darfur. The potential water deposits are estimated at 49,500 square kilometers, 19,110 square miles. The lake during epochs when the region was more humid would have contained about 2,500 cubic kilometers, 600 cubic miles of water. It may have dried up thousands of years ago. Topic: Prehistory Some conjectures include the area of Darfur as part of the Proto-Afro-Asiatic or Heimat in distant prehistoric times c. 10,000 BC, though numerous other theories exclude Darfur. History Most of the region consists of a semi-arid plain and thus appears unsuitable for developing a large and complex civilization. But the Mara Mountains offer plentiful water, and by the 12th century the Daju people, succeeding the semi-legendary Torah culture, created the first historical attestable kingdom. They were centered in the Mara Mountains and left records of valuable rock engravings, stone architecture and a orally preserved list of kings. The Tunjur replaced the Daju in the 14th century and the Daju established new headquarters in Abi, Denga, Darsila and Mongo in the current Chad. 
The Tunjur sultans intermarried with the Fir and Sultan Musa Sulayman reigned c. To c. is considered the founder of the Kira dynasty. Darfur became a great power of the Sahel under the Kira dynasty, expanding its borders as far east as the Atbara River and attracting immigrants from Bornu and Bagarmi. During the mid-18th century conflict between rival factions racked the country, an external war pitted Darfur against Senar and Wadai. In 1875, the weakened kingdom was destroyed by the Egyptian ruler set up in Khartoum, largely through the machinations of Saber Rama, a slave trader, who was competing with the Dar over access to ivory in Bar el Ghazal to the south of Darfur. The Darfuris were restive under Egyptian rule, but were no more predisposed to accept the rule of the self proclaimed Mahdi, Muhammad Ahmad, when in 1882 his Emir of Darfur, who came from the southern Darfur Arab Rizagat tribe led by Sheikh Madabo, defeated the Ottoman forces led by Slayton Pasha that had just invaded Egypt earlier that year in Darfur. When Ahmad's successor, Abdallahi ibn Muhammad, himself an Arab of southern Darfur from the Taisha tribe, demanded that the pastoralist tribes provide soldiers, several tribes rose up in revolt. Following the overthrow of Abdallahi at Omdurman in 1899 by the Anglo-Egyptian forces, the new Anglo-Egyptian government recognized Ali Dinar as the Sultan of Darfur and largely left the Dar to its own affairs except for a nominal annual tribute. In 1916 the British, concerned that the Sultanate might fall under the influence of the Ottoman Empire, invaded and incorporated Darfur into the Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. Colonial rule directed financial and administrative resources to the tribes of central Sudan near Khartoum, to the detriment of the outlying regions such as Darfur. <laughs> under Sudanese rule A pattern of skewed economic development continued after Sudan achieved political independence in 1956. The proxy wars between Sudan, Libya and Chad added an element of political instability. Darfurians, mainly those who self-identified as Arab and African people, began to respond to the ideology of Arab supremacy propagated by Libyan leader Muammar al-Gaddafi in power 1969-2011. A famine in the mid-1980s disrupted many societal structures and led to the first significant modern fighting amongst Darfuris. A low-level conflict continued for the next 15 years, with the government co-opting and arming Arab Janjaweed militias against its enemies. The fighting reached a peak in 2003 with the beginning of the Darfur conflict, in which the resistance coalesced into a roughly cohesive rebel movement. Human rights groups and the UN, March, 2004, came to regard the conflict as one of the worst humanitarian disasters in the world. The insurgency and counterinsurgency have led to 480,000 deaths the Khartoum government disputes the numbers. By 2010 about 300,000 had died, according to the UN best estimate and about 3 million were forced into refugee camps. Over 2.8 million people have become displaced since 2003, many of whom were children see Lost Boys of Sudan. Many of these refugees have gone into camps where emergency aid has created conditions that, although extremely basic, are better than in the villages, which offer no protection against the various militias that operate in the region. While nearly two thirds of the population continues to struggle to survive in remote villages, the international community has largely overlooked their needs, and in the face of soaring inflation in Sudan, many families face serious difficulties. Virtually no foreigners visit the region because of the fear of kidnapping, and only some non-governmental organizations continue to provide long-term grassroots assistance. As of 2015 the United Nations is in discussion with the government of Sudan over the withdrawal of UNAMID, the peacekeeping force, which is the largest in the world. Its prospective withdrawal and that of other UN agencies such as the WFP which are already working on their exit strategies from the region is likely to impact on the already beleaguered communities. Darfur is listed as a major source of migrants in the Calais jungle. Topic: <inaudible> Peace process. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Darfur Peace Agreement, also known as Doha Agreement. The government of Sudan and the Sudan Liberation Movement of Mini Minawi signed a Darfur peace agreement in 2006. 
Only one rebel group, the Sudan Liberation Movement, subscribed to the agreement, the Justice and Equality Movement rejected it, resulting in a continuation of the conflict. The agreement includes provisions for wealth sharing and power sharing, and established a transitional Darfur regional authority to help administer Darfur until a referendum could take place on the future of the region. The leader of the Sudan Liberation Movement, Mini Minawi, was appointed senior assistant to the President of Sudan and chairman of the Transitional Authority in 2007. <laughs> Doha Peace Forum In December 2010, representatives of the Liberation and Justice Movement, an umbrella organization of ten rebel groups, formed in February of that year, started a fresh round of talks with the Sudanese government in Doha, Qatar. A new rebel group, the Sudanese Alliance Resistance Forces in Darfur, was formed and the Justice and Equality Movement planned further talks. The talks ended on December 19 without a new peace agreement, but participants agreed on basic principles, including a regional authority and a referendum on autonomy for Darfur. The possibility of a Darfuri vice president was also discussed. In January 2011, the leader of the Liberation and Justice Movement, Dr. Tajani Sesi, stated that the movement had accepted the core proposals of the Darfur peace document proposed by the joint mediators in Doha. The proposals included a $300 million compensation package for victims of atrocities in Darfur and special courts to conduct trials of persons accused of human rights violations. Proposals for a new Darfur regional authority were also included. This authority would have an executive council of 18 ministers and would remain in place for five years. The current three Darfur states and state governments would also continue to exist during this period. In February 2011 the Sudanese government rejected the idea of a single region headed by a vice president from the region on the 29th of January the leaders of the liberation and justice movement and the justice and equality movement issued a joint statement affirming their commitment to the Doha negotiations and agreement to attend the Doha forum on the 5th of February The Sudanese government had not yet agreed to attend the forum on that date and instead favored an internal peace process without the involvement of rebel groups Later in February, the Sudanese government agreed to return to the Doha Peace Forum with a view to complete a new peace agreement by the end of that month. On 25 February, both the Liberation and Justice Movement and the Justice and Equality Movement announced that they had rejected the peace document proposed by the mediators in Doha. The main sticking points were the issues of a Darfuri vice president and compensation for victims. The Sudanese government had not commented on the peace document. At the Doha Peace Forum in June, the joint mediators proposed a new Darfur peace agreement, which would supersede the Abuja Agreement of 2005 and, if signed, would halt preparations for a Darfur status referendum. The proposal included provisions for a Darfuri vice president and an administrative structure that includes both the three states and a strategic regional authority, the Darfur Regional Authority, to oversee Darfur as a whole. The new agreement was signed by the government of Sudan and the Liberation and Justice Movement on 14 July. The Sudan Liberation Movement and the Justice and Equality Movement did not sign the new document at that time but had three months in which to do so if they wished. <laughs> <laughs> Languages Languages of Darfur include Arabic, Daju, Eringa, Thongaro, Fulb, Fur, thus the name of the region, Masalit, Sinyar, Tama, Midab, and Zaghawa. Topic: <laughs> Government. The region is now divided into five federal states: Central Darfur, East Darfur, North Darfur, South Darfur, and West Darfur. The Darfur Peace Agreement of 2006 established a transitional Darfur Regional Authority as an interim authority for the region. The agreement stated that a referendum on the status of Darfur should be held no later than 2011. Mini Minawi was the first chair of this authority, holding that office from April 2007 until December 2010, when he was succeeded by Shartai Jafar Abdul Hakam. The peace agreement that was signed in July 2011 saw the transitional Darfur Regional Authority reconstituted as the Darfur Regional Authority with executive and legislative functions. The chairperson of the Darfur Regional Authority, Tajani Sesi, assumed the post on 20 September 2011. 
The regional authority was dissolved in July 2016 following a referendum on the status of the Darfur region within Sudan. Topic: <laughs> Demographics and Economy. In 2008, Darfur's population was 7.5 million. This in an increase by nearly 6 times from 1973, 1.3 million. 52% are aged 16 years or younger. Darfur's budget was US$286 million in 2008. Topic: Bibliography. Arkel, AJ. A History of Darfur. Part 2: The Tundra etc. Sudan Notes and Records, 32, 2, 1951, 207 to 238. Daily, M. W. Darfur's Sorrow: A History of Destruction and Genocide, Cambridge, 2010. Elisi, Hatim. Sudan under the constraints of international human rights law and humanitarian law: The Case of Darfur. In Hatim Elisi, ed. Islam and Human Rights, Al Islam wa Hukuk al Insan, Frankfurt, Berlin, Bern, Bruxelles, New York, Oxford, Vienna 2010, pp. 193 217, ISBN 978 3 631 57848 3. Elisi, Hatim et al. Different Approaches to Genocide Trials Under National Jurisdiction on the African Continent, the Rwandan, Ethiopian and Sudanese Cases. In Recht in Africa, Cologne 2009, 12 over 1, pp. 21-67. ISBN 978-3-89645-804-9 Nachtigal, G. Transel. H. Fisher, Sahara and Sudan, Vol. 4 Vol. 3, 1889, London 1971. Ofehi, R.S., The Darfur Sultanate, A History, London 2008. See also War in Darfur 2010 Sahel Famine Ahmed Abdul Shafi Bassi Lost Boys of Sudan